Timelines can be a funny thing. In one timeline, the Black Wedding massacred half the Northern Army, as well as Arya herself, resulting in Sansa becoming a twisted villain who knew dark magic. While another Sansa was able to defeat her, the warning was clear. Do not mess with time travel or it will mess back. Arya Stark was Princess of Winterfell, a title she had always denied because she wanted no association with her own nobility. She preferred a rougher, simpler life, yet destiny may still catch up with her. The battle with the dead was tomorrow. As Arya heard Sansa bark orders, ordering archers to reinforce the walls, she smiled to herself. You're good at this, Arya thought. It was a role suited to her elder sister, a role she never wanted or would like. In days past, speaking to father, she wondered if she could have a holdfast of her own, but the responsibility, the politics, it was something she found she didn't want the burden of. The day she tried to play the game, she ended up nearly tearing House Stark apart using a letter from so long ago that it should no longer have mattered. But at the same time, it brought the sisters closer than they had ever been, even killing Petir Baelish together. It should have come as no surprise then, when Arya received a visitor in the night, a few hours after Gendry. At first, she could only feel hands slowly unbuttoning her shirt as she had done before laying with Gendry. Yet Gendry had been the only man... During her time in Essos, Arya had begun to prefer maidens. She delighted in their soft skin, the taste of their lips. It sent a shock through her that men never did, not even him. She knew it was forbidden, that nobody would approve, so she donned a mask during her dalliances. Essos was no kinder to such proclivities than Westeros. She suspected the same was true for her sister. What a pair we make, Sansa, Arya thought. Two sisters trying to defy our true selves, both unable to do so. Arya was trying to get some sleep when she heard the door creak open. Assuming it was the queen, Arya tried to shake her off. Sansa, please, five more moments. The figure merely chuckled and pressed a finger to their mask. Arya could barely see in the dark, but she did see the outline of a mask and a slender body. The stranger then sauntered over and pressed that same finger to her lips, signalling to Arya that she be quiet. Assuming this was just another one of her many lovers over the years in Essos, Arya smiled and beckoned her forth. She assumed that her lover was merely playing along with the same game, yet how this girl knew where Arya was was yet to enter her mind. She was only consumed with lust and desire. In the back of her mind, however, she knew something was wrong. She never divulged her name or identity to any of her female partners, for fear that it would get out and cause a scandal. Rumours were only ever rumours, and she could fight rumour. She tried to ask, How did you find... but was cut off with a searing kiss on the lips. Feminine for sure, thought Arya. She could even see the twin bulges adorned upon the stranger's chest. She moaned into the kiss and let herself be slowly pushed down upon her bed. The woman straddled her and continued to passionately kiss her. Something about this felt slightly off, but it felt too good to stop. Arya kissed back and helped the woman out of her clothes. Once again, the clothes rang too familiar. A leather jerkin, a long-sleeved cotton top and leather pants. It's like something I would wear or am wearing. She's really gone above and beyond to be like me, huh? They continued to straddle one another as they stripped off their clothes. Arya, of course, left the woman's mask alone, respecting her privacy. The woman nodded, acknowledging the respect shown. She stared at the woman's breasts and then grabbed one while sucking on the other. The woman moaned deliciously as Arya sucked her nipple and bit it lightly. You like that baby? Arya whispered. The woman nodded her head, gasping in pleasure. I'm not a man. Take your own bloody pants off. Arya hissed as she continued to kiss the woman, who obeyed and undid her pants, sliding them off of her. Arya saw the woman's pussy and smirked. Well, you definitely want me, you naughty slut. Look at your wet pussy. The woman smirked back and kissed her again. She pointed down to her pussy and Arya needed no further encouraging. She slid her tongue deep inside, tasting her and thrusting inside of her. Arya giggled and the vibration sent shockwaves of pleasure through the woman's body. The woman then pushed Arya off and returned the favour, tonguing not only Arya's pussy, but her exposed pink asshole as well. Oh, God! Arya screamed as the strange woman ate her out. She had been trying to be quiet, but it felt too good to bother. If Sansa walked in on her, Arya would simply have to tell her the truth. 
Not that Arya thought Sansa would judge her given her own suspected proclivities, but she was still nervous and feared that Sansa would treat her differently. The woman continued to tongue her asshole, and Arya gasped in pleasure. <sighs> How do you know I like it back there? The woman merely giggled. Strange that she doesn't want to talk to me. But Arya quickly got over her suspicion when the woman shoved her tongue deeper inside her ass. Oh, fuck! Arya screamed. Her asshole felt so good and she rubbed her clit in unison. I'm close. Fuck, I'm close. Suddenly the woman stopped and wanted to change her position. She lowered herself down onto Arya and then thrust it up against her. Pussy on pussy. Arya screamed in pleasure louder than ever. Yes, fuck! Fuck me, you naughty bitch! Harder! Obeying her happily, she thrusted harder against Arya's pussy, also screaming in pleasure. Ah! Ah! Oh! Fuck! Baby! Arya moaned in unison with the thrusts, definitely close to an orgasm. One final thrust, and both cummed violently, spraying girl cum all over each other's stomachs. Arya happily licked up their cum, giggling. Thank you, baby. That was amazing. It's like you... You know everything about me. How to make me feel good. I... Can I see you again? You will. She speaks, Arya smiled. It was good to put a voice to the body even if she didn't yet have a face. But something about that voice... I think we'll be seeing each other quite soon, actually, once you see the Queen. It must be good for you being back home with the Queen again. Arya backed away slightly, releasing her grip. The Queen? Just who are you? The other woman simply turned away and chuckled darkly. I think you know who I am. The woman leaned close into her ear. Arya Stark. Finally the truth. Arya's eyes widened and she backed away in fear before sprinting out of the room. She ran to the only place she felt she would find comfort, Sansa's bedchamber. And it was there that she found a sight that would drive some mad. A sight that made Arya believe she herself was going mad. First the woman who knew who she was and where she was from. Now seemingly two Sansas. She tried rubbing her eyes, but it was true. The Sansas jumped up out of bed, tits jiggling, and tried desperately to explain. Apparently this was Sansa from here, but just not from now. She had come from the future using magic to lay with her past self. Such a thing was barely comprehensible by even the most in touch with the magical arts and Arya herself had a bad experience with such things. Her own supposed mentor in the dark arts had ordered her death. Now it seemed magic had returned and seduced her sister. Or rather, her sister seduced her sister. As Arya left, still trying to wrap her head around it, she heard one of the Sansas say, Arya's not Littlefinger. She'll keep her word. I should hope not, Sansa. I don't like it and I think it's very weird, but I will not betray you. Those days between us are past. Elsewise, who could ever believe me that you are doing that with a you? After some time to calm down, as Arya walked back to her room, she could not get the image out of her head of her sister nude. Not only her sister, but her future sister too. She felt herself getting wet, even against her best judgment. Seven hells, what is wrong with me? Desiring maidens is one thing, but desiring my own bloody sister. She wanted to retch. She wanted to tear off Needle and throw herself from the ramparts. Arya managed to make it back to her own bedchambers, but the woman was still there, still chuckling mysteriously. You look very freaked out. I truly apologize for that. Her face changed slightly into regretfulness. All right. Maybe it's time to stop playing this game. Maybe it's time you understand who I am. The woman then reached up and pulled her mask off. Arya froze in utter shock and confusion. She was looking upon the face of the woman she had just had mind-blowing sex with. Upon her own face. There she was. Another Arya, offering a small smile. Surprise! What the fuck? Arya screamed. Who the fuck are you? Isn't it obvious, baby? Said the other Arya as if she was talking about the weather. Arya growled and drew needle from her belt. She remembered that during her time in the House of Black and White, she had seen her own face upon another's body before. The Arias and the Sansas raised their eyebrows at the new arrival. I'm your adoptive daughter, Lyanna. Mothers, I want you to make love to me. Arya shook her head amusedly. Seven hells! Across generations, time has been a tricky thing. 
It is inevitable, yet also beautiful. It can bring together, yet also tear apart. Black Sansa nearly tore apart the fabric of reality in her mad pursuit for power. Lyanna Stark, heir to Winterfell and crown princess in the North, was living proof it could produce beauty and love. As Lyanna kissed her mothers passionately and slowly exposed her breasts to them, she knew it was the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. Perhaps a new chapter in her own. The End